Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this quick video, I just want to show you how to set up conversion tracking from Google AdWords using your website. So in this case, I will be using ClickFunnels as my website builder and I'll be putting the code in there. But the idea will be the same regardless of what website builder you use. So let's get started. Here we are with our Sears test campaign which we've been working on for the past few months. So the first thing we want to do to set up a conversion is go to this little um, wrench icon there and click on conversions. And as you can see here, I have a little test conversion here that's already set up, but I will create a new one. So for the purpose of this video, I'll just create a website conversion because we'll be tracking opt-ins or sales and things like that. So I'll just click on that. So first thing we have to do is enter a name. So let's say test YouTube conversion. Uh, next part is we need to in in include a category. So this um, is something that will really include in your uh, that will be included in your report. So this is really pretty much up to you whether you want this conversion to mean a sale, a sign up, a lead, a view of a page, or something else. Um, that's totally up to you. So for the purpose of this video, I'll say it's a uh, it's a sign up. Say for people that signed up to something. Um, or we can say a lead, people that opted into your email list, something like that. So let's just stay with that for now. Uh, for the value, um, what we can do here is here's where you would put how much you how much money you make for that conversion. So if it's a sale, for example, if you say sale here, how much would you make for that sale? Is it twenty dollars? Is it thirty dollars? Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, for a lead, there's not really a sale price. It's an email. You can't really put a number to it. So I just keep it at one dollar. Uh, you can also choose not to have a value at all, uh, and you can choose to have a different value. Uh, so in here, uh, a different value for every conversion. So in here, you would just add a default value, and then you would have to go in and kind of dynamically change the code a little bit. So the value changes depending on which product people buy. For now, I'll just use the same value for each conversion. Uh, the count, again, if someone, if the same user buys something three times, do you want that to count as three conversions or one conversion? Uh, so that's totally up to you. Something you select here, I will say one. Because if someone signs up one time, I want that person to just, I, I, I want that person to have an, um, to show up here as a conversion one time, not three times. Um, these things here, you can pretty much leave as default. I'll briefly go over them. So conversion window is basically how long the cookie stays um, on the browser. So if someone clicks on your ad and they buy, in this case, within 30 days or they sign up within 30 days, your stats in Google will show up as a conversion. If in this case, your conversion window is set to 30 days and someone clicks on your ad and then they actually sign up or do whatever you want them to do within, say, 60 days, then that conversion will not show up. Okay, so this is kind of your window. So the view through conversion window is the same thing, except it goes after an impression, not after someone clicks on your ad. But it's the same idea as with the conversion window. Um, including conversions, um, I'll go through this after we actually create it, but you would need to go in and update your columns. And it will say, it, it will have a conversion column there. So you can see how many conversions each ad or each keyword or each ad group or campaign generated. So we want to say yes in this case. An attribution model, keep, I would keep it at last click, but you can take a look at all these options. The first click you know, gives all credit to the conversion of the first click ad. Linear gives credit evenly among all the ads that were clicked, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would just keep it as last click. That's the most convenient. That's probably the one you'll be using most of the time. After you do that, you click create and continue. And here you'll be given a code. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to first input this global site tag um, on kind of our entire website as a whole. So in ClickFunnels, what I'll do, here's the site, kind of the test site I'm using. I'll go into settings here, and I'm going to add that code here at the bottom of my Facebook code. So I'll put it right there. And what this does is this now added the entire Google code to all of those funnel steps. So I'll click Save and Update. And again, that was the little uh, Facebook code that we've been using from our previous videos. Uh, but over here now, now that we've done that, now we need to put in this code on the specific page of which we want to track a conversion on. So for example, if we want to track someone that signed up and that's our conversion, 
uh, then we want to put this specific snippet um, on our thank you page, the page that follows the page where people sign up so that it can fire when someone lands on the thank you page and we know that, hey, this person signs up, signed up because the only way they can get to the thank you page is if they signed up. So what we'll, what we'll do is we'll copy this code and we'll add it on our thank you page in this case. So in this case, I'm going to go into edit page settings. Again, regardless of what website builder you're using, you would follow the exact same procedure. Go into settings, go into tracking code, and I will just input that there. And it, it tells you, Google is telling you specifically to input them uh, in between the head, uh, between the head beginning and the head ending tags. So I'll click save. So that should be it. That is it. I am pretty much done. Now, what you could do is if you have a Google Chrome extension or something like that, uh, there's a little Google tag helper you can use to determine if your pixel is set up properly. It's going to flash green. But if you just copied and pasted the code that was given to you into these pages, everything should work properly. So now that we've done that, we can click on next. By the way, this little click icon, um, you can also kind of measure a conversion based on someone that clicks on a button, not necessarily goes to a page. Uh, but in this case, you do need to uh, have a custom button form rather than um, a button that's kind of given to you, such as in ClickFunnels, where there's literally an element where you can input a button. So I'm going to leave that out for now. But once you finish that, just click on Next, and that is it. You're done. So at this point, it should say Unverified because it's not sure yet whether the conversion is there. So one thing you could do is just go to a page, go here, um, go to your first opt-in page, Put in some random values to test this out after this works. So here I can put in, you know, favorite color um, and click submit. And it should now take us to the thank you page. On this page is where we have that Google event snippet code. So if I go back here now and I refresh, it should still say unverified. Uh, it takes a few hours for it to say recording conversions. But within, you know, um, normally within maybe 15 minutes, it should light up and it should work. So that's basically how you would trigger it so it, it shows up. So I would check back in maybe 15, 20 minutes, uh, you know, at most maybe a few hours and see whether um, this turns to no recent conversions rather than unverified. One last thing you have to do is just modify the column. So you would go into um, column options here. Let's see, where is that? Here, modify columns and just go to conversions and make sure that you have this conversion tab or whichever options you want selected. So whether it's conversions, whether it's, uh, you know, all conversion, uh, cost per conversion, stuff like that, pick whatever you want. Um, I would probably just stick with conversions, you know, at, at the very least. And you can save your column set. So say my column set, save it as that, save and apply. And there you go. You, you should see that conversion right there. And whenever you, create campaigns, create ads, stuff like that, you should um, see the conversions add up. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to try to help you out. Have questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how to's, et cetera, et cetera. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.